Hey everyone! It's been a while since I've used Blender, and it has changed a lot. So Connie seemed like a pretty good character to re-familiarize myself with the process. Not to mention, uh, it's been a while since I've recorded myself, and holy cow, I'm weirdly nervous. I haven't had a ton of a chance, ton of a chance, that's, that's a thing, much of a chance to play Mario and Luigi Brothership yet, but I'm absolutely in love with the art style, and I want to try to make every object and character in the game. We'll see if that happens, but I want to do it. But once again, not super familiar with Blender currently. <laughs> it's, it has changed so much, much like everything else in life, it has changed a lot. Since the last time we made a model, which I believe was Sonic, AI has come from being this Google Doc that we were using to generate new Pokemon based off of just kind of this like image learning to what it is now. It's literally making computer parts and we're going to make like the quantum leap in my lifetime. I, I just, yeah. So I started with Connie. She's constructed out of mostly pretty basic shapes, and the texturing is fairly simple, but she's absolutely adorable and I love her. I also think I might time-lapse some of the shop assets or various other props because it would be really fun to have something different on the channel since we've really only done character models, and they take rigging and stuff, and it's like a little bit more, there's more happening there. Whereas the props and stuff, it's still interesting to watch a tree be made, but like it doesn't have all the rigging and stuff, unless it's a moving tree. Moving trees would have rigging and stuff. Also, I started playing the Atelier series. I started with Atelier Ryza. There are a million of them, and I'd really like to try my hand at modeling some of the characters. For anybody who enjoys crafting systems in video games, the Atelier Ryza series, holy cow, that crafting is some of the most fun and in-depth that I actually enjoyed. Like, I find myself wanting to go into the wilderness to collect the pieces. I was like, oh no, I need higher quality cotton, or I need, a, you know, better dragon scales or something. And I would go out to the higher level areas to grind those out to make the better weapon. And it just, the quality and everything was a very fun system. So if you're ever looking for kind of an open worldy RPG, it's more like, hallways connecting to each other. Pretty hallways, but that sort of open world RPG. I love it. I love the Atelier series. It's it's amazing. Recently, I've also played the remaster Super Mario RPG. I played the original one for GameCube. Oh, not GameCube. Holy crap. That was SNES. Oh man, that feels like forever ago. It was a while. It's been a while. Yes, I played the original one, and now I've played the remaster for Switch. And oh my god, the characters are adorable. Malo, Gino, I want to make all of them. There's so many different characters to choose from to model, and I'm feeling pretty inspired to make some models. So, hopefully we'll make models, and we'll make time lapses of them, and anything else we may do. But for now, I'll see you at the end of the video. Enjoy!
Overall, I'm really happy with the way Connie turned out. I absolutely love the art style from this game, and I kind of want to make more models from it. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you very much for watching. Stay safe. I love you all. Goodbye. Bye-bye.